The title of this video is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I enjoy watching people clean and get organized and be productive. Uh, those are some of my favorite videos to watch here on the YouTube, so I made one too. Enjoy. Since school has pretty much become all online, I use my laptop and my phone and stuff a lot. So I'm starting off this cleaning extravaganza by clearing my digital space. So organizing my Google Drive so that it's all nice and clear for this upcoming semester. Then organizing my emails because having a clear inbox really just makes me feel like I have my life together. I also moved a lot of the big files and videos from my laptop into an external drive so that I can clear up some space on my laptop and hopefully it'll run a little better. I don't know if that's how it works. I know people like to keep like thousands and thousands of pictures in their camera roll and people will have pictures from like five years ago, but I actually prefer to keep my camera roll pretty clean. So I will just go through my camera roll every couple of months and delete the pictures I don't need and move everything I want into my laptop. So I'll just airdrop them and then upload them from there into Google Photos. So that's where I keep all my pictures. Then I can delete them off my phone and my camera roll is nice and clean. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan of action for my closet. I just recently did a huge closet clean out a few months ago. So this time around, I just got rid of a couple pieces that I haven't worn since then. And also took out my Christmas shirts and sweaters so that I can put them away until next year. I knew I wanted to kind of reorganize my closet, but didn't know exactly how I wanted to. I had this big junk drawer that I wanted to go through and find a new place for because my closet in general was just feeling a little cramped. So I just spent some time figuring out how I wanted to organize these drawers and then put them back into my closet. I decided to fold all my graphic tees and put them underneath the hanging clothes rather than hanging them up so that I have more space to put these drawers here. And I like that a lot better than having the other drawer like this right here because then my clothes weren't able to hang properly. They would get kind of like bunched up because the drawer was too high. And before this set of drawers was on this side of my closet right in this little corner and it was like impossible to open it. So it's much more convenient having it here. And the drawer that was over there, I moved underneath my desk. Everyone has that one drawer that they just throw everything into and that's this, this drawer for me. So it's a little chaotic in there, but at least it's organized chaos. And by organized, I just mean that I know what's in there just in case I'm ever looking for anything. And speaking of my desk, that was the next thing that I wanted to tackle. The drawer under my desk had gotten a little out of hand, so I went through and reorganized it, only trying to keep the things that I use most often in there. I did the same thing with the pens that I use for bullet, bullet journaling, just keeping what I use most often and then moving the stuff that I didn't need to be reunited with the rest of the stationery that I keep in my closet. And now here's a little collection of all the probably expired products that I found under my sink. Uh, but first, plant food. <laughs> I don't know if sheet masks expire, but I've had some of these since high school. Two mascaras that I've had for way too long. I haven't worn mascara in probably like a year-ish, so I ended up just keeping the newer one. I have absolutely no clue where this foundation came from because I've never bought or used foundation in my life. This sample of a tinted moisturizer that my cousin Ruthie and I got from Sephora because I didn't want to buy a whole thing of a product so we just asked for a color match and I wore it to my brother's wedding in 2018. A beauty blender that I used to apply that moisturizer in 2018. And this concealer that my sister-in-law gave me to use for my junior year homecoming which was four years ago.
I always have to close my closet. I don't know why. I don't know if you all have ever seen those memes about starting to clean your room and then you get sidetracked because you find yearbooks or just old things you have in your room that make you nostalgic and you go down the nostalgia trip and don't end up actually cleaning your room. That has happened to me so many times that is not going to happen today because all my nostalgia stuff is up in a box at the top of my closet. And because I did a really big room makeover, rearranging, cleaning back in August, there's not that much like clutter, but I want to like clean, clean my room. There's a difference between cleaning my room and tidying my room. Tidying my room is when my room's like pretty clean and I just like, you know, put stuff in their spot. But cleaning my room, like I wanna go hard on the cleaning. And I already washed all my blankets and my comforters and stuff, so when I put those on, they'll be nice and fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> I like to clean from like the inside out. So that's why I went through my closet and my desk first. So knowing that those are all nice and organized will help me feel even that much better about having a nice fresh space to start off the year. I like to take all my bed sheets off and they're just washed so that's why they're off but I'm actually gonna take them out of my room while I clean. I don't know why I always just like to do the bed sheets at the very end. It's like the finisher, like the grand finale. so scared because the wax is already so low. Ooh. I've had this mirror I think since like 6th or 7th grade and I don't think it's ever been this clean. And honestly it's not that great of a mirror, it's just from like Ross and it was like $15. It's actually like a cork board around and so it used to be like that brown cork board color and I painted it blue because I wanted it to match the rest of my decorations when I decided I wanted to make my room blue. And everything was pretty much based off the tapestry that I'm now using as my curtain. That is what I bought when I graduated from high school to change up my room. Um, because all my friends were moving into dorms and buying tapestries and cute decor for their dorms. And I was just still in my same old room and so I gave it this blue makeover to kind of feel like I was also having a new start. And I had just graduated high school so I didn't have a lot of money to, you know, just make over my whole room and buy a bunch of decor. So I just worked with what I had. I just found everything else that I had that was blue or gold or yellow and just use those for the decorations in my room. I wanted to make sure everything was cohesive, so even the thumbtacks on my walls to hang up my lights and my little clothes pins, I painted blue. I painted the knobs on my desk. I painted a mirror gold just so everything was like cohesive. I really just used, I think, like a gold spray paint that I found. But anyways, yeah, I've had this mirror for a long time. I've gotten pretty good at wiping down my room once every week or two weeks, so it's not too bad, but there's still some. I like cleaning my room a lot because it helps me to kind of reset each week. So usually Sundays or Saturdays, I'll spend a little bit of time like wiping down my room, vacuuming, especially with Rona. It's just nice to wipe stuff down and feel like things are clean when the world feels so dirty right now. I guess not the world as much, kind of like just America, but you know. <laughs> There's a lot of stray cats in my neighborhood and this one was just like staring at me for so long. Hey. So I've had this wooden board in my room for as long as we've lived in this apartment and I just, right now realize that it's for my shelf. So my shelf has a bunch of these divots, I guess, or like these holes that you put the shelf holders 
pin and then you can just kind of customize wherever you want the shelves and I just realized that this is supposed to go in one of those so I'm gonna wipe it down and put it up there because it's just been sitting behind my door this entire time um, I don't know what's gonna go up there yet but at least I have another shelf that's so cool made these two little canvases to match the color scheme in my room. I'm not a painter, I literally just like got paint and did this to it uh, to make this one and then for this one I just like, you know, splattered paint on it and then like did little, little strokes and stuff. But I still use them today so a good investment. <laughs> I bought these two fabric bins from Target and I use them for my dirty laundry. I use them for my dirty laundry and that way my dirty laundry is hidden and matches my room. I just moved this box of piano books and I left this mark because it's so heavy and then look how dirty this is not on my watch that probably went into the carpet but it's fine wow that was probably the most satisfying thing I've done all day <laughs> actually need to water is this one. This is my pothos propagation. I have this little moisture meter is what it's called. I usually water my plants out here. I just hold them over the ledge and pour the water in so that the water from the drainage hole just goes down. There's like dirt and like tan bark down there so I just water them over the ledge. These are the first two plants I ever got from Ikea to three years ago now it's crazy like to see how they've grown so big like this one look at this guy i got this one because it looked like a little green bean when i got these plants my mom said they were ugly but i really like them i think they're cute i'm only gonna water one plant but we have been getting like gnats in our apartment so i'm also gonna spray them with this neem oil <laughs> I wanted this video to have a little bit more meaning than just me cleaning for 20 minutes so let's talk about space and not like the stars and the planets. It's so crazy how our space and our environment play such a big role in our productivity and success in whatever we're doing. That's why for a lot of students it's easier for them to study and do homework in a coffee shop or a study hall or a library on campus because for a lot of students they have connected that kind of environment to getting things done for school or studying or learning or just being productive and with everything being remote and online it is quite difficult to get that same kind of productivity when we're just stuck in our house when everything first went online in march in the spring it wasn't too difficult for me to adjust because there were only a couple of weeks left 
and then the semester was out. But moving into the fall, when I realized that the whole semester was going to be online, I decided I wanted to change up my room. One, because I just wanted to feel like I was in a fresh space, but also because my room wasn't set up in a way that I associated it with school. I'll insert some pictures and videos of what my room looked like before I kind of flipped it around, but my bed was kind of the main focus of my room and everything was centered around my bed. And before school went online, I was barely home. I would leave for class at 7 a.m. I would go to class and then I would work, sometimes go to the gym and then I'd come home by eight or nine and just go to sleep. So I associated my room with rest rather than with work. But when I flipped my room around, I can't even explain how much it helped my ability to focus and be productive for school because now everything was centered around my desk. And I think of my room as an office with a bed in it rather than a bedroom with a desk, if that makes sense. And even though my bed is still in the same room as my desk, I'm able to associate like this, this is my workspace. This is where I sit down and do homework. And over here is where I sleep. <laughs> and over the past five months that my room has been like this, I pretty much do everything in my room. I work in here, I go to class in here, I practice in here, I work out in here, and I sleep in here, and sometimes I even eat in here. And I know it sounds silly, but I really feel like I'm only able to do all this stuff in one space because of the layout and because I associate it with all those things. When before, I had a specific place to do each of those things. So I would sleep in my room, I'd work out at the gym, I would do homework in the library at school, I would go to class in the classrooms, but now I'm able to do all those things within these four walls. It's kind of hard for me to be productive when the space that I'm in is messy because I'm distracted by the mess and I'm not able to focus on my work. So even doing something small like fixing my bed or putting away my laundry allows me to be more productive when it comes to schoolwork. And I want to acknowledge that for some people it's not as easy as just let me fix my bed and then I'll get all A's this semester. Because everyone's remote situation is different and for some people there might be other distractions aside from just having a messy room like having to share that room with other people or just having other people in the house or other distractions or maybe they don't have accessibility to be successful in remote learning. And it's a really difficult thing and everyone's still trying to adjust despite being in it for almost a whole year now. And with the start of the new year, as crazy as it has already been, I hope you're able to feel refreshed and feel renewed and I guess just make the best out of whatever situation you're in when it comes to school or work. And don't forget to step away and do things for you that you enjoy that's not for anyone else because that is important. Take care of yourself. All right, let's finish up this video. This string of lights that is around my bed is connected to a timer down there. So they turn on um, probably around nine. And then if I turn off the rest of my lights, it looks like that, <laughs> except with that, not that one. <laughs> They'll turn off at one because I'm still scared of the dark, even though I'm 20 years old. <laughs>